Hi, I'm Sue. This is one of seven videos we've made about farm safety. We hope you get some great tips on how to protect your people and stay safe on your school farm, on your family farm, or on a farm you may be visiting. Hi everyone. We're gonna visit our school farm today to refresh our ideas about farm safety. Can you tell me what you already know about how to protect your people? Parapin plan. That's right, we wanna work with an adult and make sure we know what jobs we're doing for today. Pause and practice. That's right, we've got to stop and think and make sure we've got the skills we need to do the jobs that we've got to happening today. Plain safe areas. Once we enter that school farm, we know it's no longer a playground. Put on your personal protective equipment. That's your PPE. That's right. Great to see you've already got your hats on and your high vis and you've all got sensible shoes too. Today we're going to learn about the risks on grain farms. Even though our school farm is much smaller than a proper farm, it's still got many of the same risks that we'd see on a real farm. We're going to use the hierarchy of control to learn how to make things safer. The steps are remove, swap, organise, direct and cover. Can you give us an example? Yeah, let's think about power lines. Power lines on a farm can be really dangerous because the big equipment can actually contact the wires or even run into the poles. But can you see any power lines here? No. no. That's because we've done step one, remove. We've got rid of all of our power lines and buried them under the ground. Let's go and find out about some other hazards on a grain farm. Machinery on farms is such a big risk. Tractors cause deaths each year and we need to be so careful around it. Can you guess why? Tractors are so big that the driver wouldn't notice us. And they're also so loud so that the drivers can hear us. That's exactly right. This is our grain auger, such a useful piece of equipment, but there are some dangers with them as well. Let's look at it with our hierarchy of control. Can we remove the auger? Well, I need, a, need the auger to uh, move grain and fertiliser so I don't hurt my back. Can we swap it for something safer? Well, no, again, I need the auger to transfer the grain and fertiliser into silo and the cedar. Do you think we can organise it a different way so it's much safer? Well, it's got a guard over the hopper and it's also got a uh, safety switch to turn the motor off, so no, probably not. What are the directions to keep the auger safe? It's got uh, safety decals on it and I uh, always turn the motor off when I'm cleaning out the hopper and keep the key, key in my pocket when I'm not using it. Is there any PPE gear that we can use while operating the auger? I use hearing protection and therefore I can't hear you guys. So that's why I need you to stand well out of the way. Why are there locks on the silo ladders? Well, we don't want anyone climbing up the ladder, falling off the top of the silo, or falling into the grain. Where's that on our hierarchy of control? Step three, organise. This is the shed we store our chemicals in. I can see it's locked and there are warning signs. This must be step three and four. Organise and direct. That's correct. And this is our new side-by-side. -side. We replaced our old quad bike with it. Can you guess why? Is that a step two swap? That's it, Annie. Quad bikes are designed for adults, but they're even dangerous for them. On average, 10 people die in quad bike accidents on farms every year, and they're especially dangerous for kids because they're so heavy. We decided to swap our quad bike for a side-by-side -side because it's got rollover protection and seat belts, but you still must wear a helmet when you're using them. They're safer for everybody. Your workshop is so tidy. I always thought workshops were messy. <laughs> Thanks, Key Mark. Um, yeah, well, I like to keep it nice and clean and tidy, nice and safe, and then we can work on our tools and uh, gives me more room to do the work I need to do. So what step is that on our hierarchy? Step three, organise. So we've been learning about grain farm safety risks today. Let's recap, what have you learned? Augers. Swallows. Workshops. Power lines. Quad bike. Chemical sheds. Machinery. And what are the four big P for protection messages you've learned today too? Pair up and plan. Pause and practice. Play in safe areas. Put on your PPA. Protect, Protect your people. people.